Hi, I'm Alan. Today I'm going to read you a story called. It's not a story. It's a poem in a book called "Pizza and Other Stinky Poems." Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you this story. Kids, ready? Let's do it. Pizza and other stinky poems. Onions. Onions are round and yellow and smelly. No one would eat them with with strawberry strawberry jelly. But cut into rings and fried up in a batter, I'd eat them all day and get fatter and fatter. Lemonade. Lemons on parade. Lemons on parade. Pay me just a quarter and I'll make you lemonade. Good evening, Mr. Soup. Good evening, Mr. Soup. 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 You taste as good as ink. Good evening, Mr. Soup. 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 You're awfully weak, we think. Yesterday you told me you were Irish stew. Today you are back and you taste like glue. Good evening, Mr. Soup. 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 You taste as good as you taste about as good as you taste about as good as ink. Whoever saw sage a thing. One day, a boy went walking and strolled into a store. He bought a pound of sausage and leaped out the door. The boy began to whistle a merry little tune, and all the little sausage danced around the room. Ketchup first. When you tip the ketchup bottle first, will come a little and then a lot. Tomato. An accident happened to my brother Jim. When somebody threw a tomato at him, tomatoes are juicy and don't hurt the skin. But this one, unfortunately, was packed in a tin. Oh, watermelon! Once my watermelon was nothing but a seed. I put it in the ground and pulled up all the weeds. Watermelon, watermelon on the vine. Watermelon, watermelon looks so fine. First came a sprout, then came a vine, then came a. Flower and all of it was mine. Watermelon, watermelon on the vine. Watermelon, watermelon looks so fine. I, I took you to the kitchen and put you where it's cold. Cut you into pieces and you can be sold. Watermelon, watermelon on the vine. Watermelon, watermelon looks so fine. One piece for the pony, one piece for the pig, because you grew so much. Watermelon, watermelon on the vine. Watermelon, watermelon looks so fine. Fresh fish. You can smell fried fresh fish. Fish fried fresh. Fresh fried fish. Fresh fr- fish fried. Or fish fresh fried. However you cook it, it smells like fish. Sticky bun. Deborah Delora. She liked the liked a bit of fun. She went to the baker's and and bought a great big bun. She dipped it in molasses and. Threw it at her teacher, the De- Deborah Delora. What a wicked creature! Peanut butter. There are three ways to get peanut butter off the roof of your mouth. One way is to shake your head back and forth. If it doesn't work, you could kind of whistle. If it doesn't work, you can scrape it off with your finger. There are three ways to get peanut butter off your finger. One way is to shake it off. Another way is to blow it off. If it doesn't work, you can scrape it with your two front teeth. There are three ways to get peanut butter out of the roof of your mouth. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, a lobster, and some prunes, a glass of milk, a piece of pie, and then some macarons. It made the busy waiters grin to see her order. So, and when they came, carried Mary out. Her face was white as snow. Chowder chant. Who put the overalls? Who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody answered, so she did, said it all louder. Who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody answered, so she said it all louder. Who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chow- chowder? Nobody answered, so she said it all louder. Who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chow- chowder? Hey, what kind of chowder is that anyway? Is this anyway? Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds, and when they along came a spider who sat down beside her and said, "What you got in the bowl, sweetheart?" Pizza. Through the teeth and past the gums, took out her stomach. Pizza comes. Potato chips. Charlie Chomp is munching munching chips. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Charlie Chomp has munched them. Charlie Chomp is munching chips. Really salted, really salted. Sir, salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar. Charlie Chomp has munched them. Charlie Chomp is feeling sick. 
Charlie has a bellyache and ache. Ravoli, Ravoli, yummy Ravoli, Ravoli, what is the stuff for me? Do you have it on your sleeve? Yes, I have it on my sleeve. On your sleeve? On my sleeve. Ravioli, yummy Ravioli, Ravioli, that's the stuff for me. Do you have it on your pants? Do you have it on your shoe? Meatball, on top of the spaghetti all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled out the table and went to the floor when the poor meatball rolled out the door. It rolled into the garden and under a bush, and then when my poor meatball was nothing but mush. But the mush was so tasty as tasty it can be. Early last summer, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss, moss and great lots of meatballs in tomato sauce. When you eat spaghetti all covered with cheese, hang on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. Stew. When I found a mouse in my stew, I raised a great hullabaloo. Please don't shout, the waiter said, or the others will want to. Pie. Oh my, I want a piece of pie. The pie's too sweet, I want a piece of meat. The meat's too red, I want a piece of bread. The bread's too brown, I better go to town. The town's too far, I need a trolley car. The car so slow, I fell and stubbed my toe. My toes got a pain, I better take a train. The train had a wreck, I nearly broke my neck. Oh my, no more pie. I scream, I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Burp, better to erp a burp and better bear the shame, than squatch a bout of die of pain. Fool, here I stand all fat and chunky, ate a duck and swallowed a donkey. Show and smell. I found an apple. It was rotten. I put it where it wouldn't be forgotten. A few days later, my teacher said, Now, now it's your turn for show and tell. I didn't have anything for show and tell, but I did have an apple for show and smell. Oh, the last page was a little so Wow, just poems really are a little bit stinky poems. I think it's all about a little bit of food. Okay, today I read you a story, I mean, a book called Pizza and Other Stinky Poems. Okay, thank you for seeing this video. Bye! Bye-bye.